Professor B and welcome to the Circle of Heck. I'm Lady Amaris. Now this is something that I videoed at the beginning of the year but I just haven't had a chance to, to upload it and to finish it off so uh, here it goes. Uh, so I did this at the beginning of the year at New Year's so that it was a way of uh, getting rid of the old year and, and welcoming in the new year. Uh, and opening the roads, paving the, um, the way for new opportunities to to present themselves in, in the new year and just shaking off the, the funk of, of the previous year. Now this can be done ideally, obviously, at the beginning of the year, but you can do it also any time, any time that you're starting a new project, any time that you feel that you may be stagnating or that uh, you feel that you may be blocked maybe creatively or emotionally. Uh, it can be done uh, in conjunction with, with any spell that you are doing to either get rid of something or to to bring something in or you know, a bit of both getting rid of the old and uh, and uh, bringing in the new so uh, say it's for new employment so it would be clearing away those blocks those hindrances to the, the uh, employment and opening up doors opening up opportunities uh, opening up a few more roads that may not have been able to travel uh, beforehand so road opener is is the is the term that's used a lot in in the hoodoo tradition. It's used uh, it's used in many different traditions. Uh, the hoodoo tradition just seems to be the one that most people understand and, and go go with. Uh, you can have obstacle remover. Uh, it is it, it's different types of things, but initially it is a removing of obstacles, opening up the road. Um, opening up doors, however you want to want to call it, but most people understand road opener. So we have a road opener bath, which is about clearing away the obstacles of the of the past, and then paving the way for for new growth. Now, if you're doing this in conjunction with a spell, it is a way of of layering your spell. A spell shouldn't be especially if it's something that's really big so you know you want to get uh, new employment uh, it is a maybe a legal blockage or a legal matter even if it's just a, you know, say relationships are, are big things but it's it, basically layering your spell it's not about just lighting a candle and going okay I'm done uh, it it doesn't cut it. You've got to you've got to take it from different angles. You've got to uh, layer your spells and do other things as opposed to just lighting a candle. Lighting a candle is easy, but it is just uh, in most respects it's just the beginning. It is all those other things that you do. So this is a good way of clearing away the negativity. And, uh, and letting that uh, good positivity come in. So the idea behind this is that in the, the hoodoo tradition, you have a lot of emphasis on, on feet, uh, uh, basically footprints or foot tracks or uh, laying down of tricks uh, on the ground, which means that someone would walk over them and activate that, that spell. So lots of use of powders and, and whatnot, whatnot on the ground, which is why there is also a lot of emphasis on floor washes and keeping the floor clean and keeping the threshold of the house the the uh, the door the doorway clean so that new opportunities can come in but also if someone has laid a trick on you so to speak then you are washing that away clearing that away and stopping those those hindrances so this is a take on that as in you're opening the road you're you're paving the way and you know, nowadays we we think of roads and we think of uh, cars and 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 that's that's fine. But when you are going through, say, a door or you're going through uh, on the road, uh, you are walking into a new life. So your feet may have collected and. Uh, amassed lots of dross from from previous uh, things so your feet and yourself uh, in in respect are the obstacle to your um, that needs to be removed 
So I'm not talking about we actually cut off your feet, that's a little bit macabre, but uh, what I am saying is that we wash those feet, we we do it in a ritual way, it's not just let's take a bath and, and, and you know, get a little bit of soap and wash our feet. This is a ritual bath to uh, ritually and magically clear away those obstacles, those things that you're, you have collected um, on your feet that are now uh, a hindrance to you actually going forward and and finding those new opportunities now what would happen is that you would probably do this uh, if you were wanting to remove obstacles it would be done say in a waning moon and draw things to you would be done in a uh, or a waxing moon that's just you know that's just the basics this spell can be done uh, at the dark of the moon, getting rid of all of those those bits and pieces, and then you're paving the way for the, the, the good stuff with the new moon. So it's just before the new moon, and as the new moon goes from new to full, so do those opportunities start to, to accumulate and, and expand. So the first thing that you would do is that you would wash your feet. So uh, get your, you know, your gnarly witch's feet. Washing your feet, clipping your toenails, just doing all of those, you know, those things that you would do, just cleaning off and um, giving your feet a good scrub. And you are ritually scrubbing off that, um, that, that layer of dead skin so if you think of something that's dead you think of something that no longer no longer serves you it's 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 dead it's now a dead weight and you are just cleaning that off so you are clipping your toenails you are using some kind of scrub so that you're getting all of that um, that, that dead skin if you've got calluses then you're getting in there and you're really giving it a good scrub you're giving yourself a, 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 you know, a really deep pedicure and um, to the point that you are doing it in a ritual way so as you are cleaning all of this stuff off you are thinking that all of these obstacles are being removed all of the things that are they're hindering you are now being removed you're scrubbing them away and in this foot bath you can have various things and I would always advise you to, to do some research, find out what it is that you want removed because there are so many things that you can, you can do. So what is it that you want to remove and then place that into the water. So the standard kind of things that you would have in this, in this water that you are now cleaning your feet with is some salt. Um, that's always good for removing negativity and evil kind of influences, if that's the way you you go. Uh, a little bit of lemon balm, so just a little bit, a little bit of lemon balm oil in there is, is always nice. Rue uh, is uh, universally accepted as the uh, the destroyer of the evil eye. It is uh, the bringer of of uh, money opportunities, but it's also about getting rid of negativity, getting rid of all, um, all of those things. Uh, mint not only does it make it uh, make your feet smell kind of nice, but it is also good for healing. Um, so there's just a few little things that you can put in. Um, actual pieces of lemon is always nice. Uh, and so you're giving your feet a good scrub, a good soak, and you are visualizing all of that obstacles, all of those just uh, being scrubbed away. Now, once you've done that, you would um, then wash your feet off for convenience sake you can uh, then tip that water down into the sink obviously if you've got little bits and pieces in there you would have some kind of uh, kind of filter before you, it, you you ran those bits and pieces down the sink but uh, you would then visualize all of that then running away out the sink gone down into uh, into a river somewhere and and cleansed and dispersed and any negativity that may have been on your feet uh, just disperses and becomes negligible okay uh, it's not going to affect anyone else that may happen to to come across uh, the water that you have put down the sink and any bits and pieces that you have I would then wrap them up uh, and you can bury them um, in the ground 
and uh, then again they will be converted uh, into compost of some kind and into, into the ground uh, and converted by the by the earth now so that's part one part two is the drawing in of of the, the the good energy the the things that you want because you've removed those obstacles you've made a uh, almost a a void because you've taken away something uh, now you have to fill it with something because uh, I'm sure I've said it before but I'll say it again when you banish something when you remove something you're leaving a hole where that where that uh, thing was now um, the universe uh, this plane abhors a vacuum so it means that if you banish 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 and forget to put the good energy in and by good energy I mean the the energy that is aligned with what you want um, then you are going to have that hole being filled now if you don't fill it yourself it will be filled by the universe and the universe is going to go the path of least resistance what was in there before are oh, blockages blah 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 all right let's put that back in that's easier um, so if you don't take control and put what you want in there then the universe will take control and it will put in what was previously in there which was the blocks the hindrances the, you know all of those things so with that said your new bath your new bath again do some research find out what it is that you want if it is for employment then you would find all of those things that are uh, aligned with with getting new employment if it is about creative blocks um, and you want to be uh, you know you've removed the creative blocks but now you want to fill that with some creativity financial um, you know blockages you're, you're you're stagnant in a financial way think of things that um, herbs that would go uh, very well with those putting keys into the water putting a key into the water now we've got that sympathetic magic of the key is the opener of doors it's the opener of um, closed uh, doors so it is opening the opportunities if you wanted money then I would put some money in the water now in Australia we're okay because our money has this kind of plastic coating on it so we can put our money in the water and it wouldn't really matter but um, in America and um, very other uh, other countries that have paper money you can put some kind of shredded money in there if you like um, but maybe just some coins some representation of of money is always good you can you know you can float the money in there if you like but you just want to make sure that you dry it off you can put some cinnamon in there now I would be really careful with cinnamon you can go with maybe putting a little bit of cinnamon oil if you want but I would just put one drop uh, err on the side of less is more when it comes with this because cinnamon is hot and it will burn and if you have um, it in in your water it's gonna get hot it's gonna heat up the the, the area uh, so you can actually have cinnamon quills in there that's that's good but if you do go the essential oil route I would err on the side of less is more when it comes with cinnamon um, we have some Van Van oil. It is uh, again universally accepted as the road opener oil, Van Van oil. If it's for love, you can have rose petals. I've put some Florida water in mine. I've put some rose water in mine, some rose petals. Uh, I've actually put a key in there as well. So you are only limited by your imagination and the other thing that I would say is that if you're putting herbs and essential oils into water I would check first that what you're putting in is not toxic that it can be ingested um, by um, by yourself uh, that you're not allergic to it 
uh, all of those things before you run ahead and start putting various herbs and spices into the water and putting your feet into the water. So what goes on your skin will go into your body, into your uh, nervous system, digestive system. So you need to be aware that you're not allergic and that you're not putting in toxic items into the um, into the water. So again, the caveat, be careful, do some research before you start just willy-nilly putting things in uh, and uh, just be safe, okay? Now the third part of this is, it's not mandatory, no, well none of this is really mandatory, but I thought it was a kind of another nice thing and for me it was like sealing the uh, the process. I've cleaned off my feet, cleaned off the dross, cleaned off the obstacles. Now I've brought in the the new uh, the new goodness and um, then the last thing is is sealing that off and I've done that by putting a sigil on my feet and I've actually you know put it on the bottom of my feet to uh, to show that as I walk I am now walking into uh, new opportunities and new new life I also put it on the top of my feet because you know I got carried away and I thought it was cool now when you're again when you're putting things on on your skin I've used food coloring and you can get uh, organic um, food coloring that isn't full of chemicals or um, all of those things so it, you can ingest it you can put it on your body so it depends on what you want to do whether you want to go the full organic route or just you know, food coloring but food coloring um, is okay to put on your skin so I've put a sigil on my feet now this is just you know just quick and and, and easy and uh, it is me putting the energies into the sigil and the sigil is just made up of uh, various planetary symbols so it's made up of the uh, symbol for mercury so mercury is about um, communication about swiftness of uh, communication moving through uh, moving through obstacles it is that communicator we have venus so venus is also good you know, with love but it's also good for sweetening people and and uh, and getting people on your good side we have uh, jupiter and jupiter is about expanding opportunities we have Mars. Now Mars uh, can go either way, but I've used Mars in the uh, confidence and uh, going after opportunities and, uh, and just you know, forging ahead with that, you know, that, that lovely arrow. We've also got the Sun in there. And lastly, we have uh, Pluto. And Pluto is about changing perspectives, changing the way you think about things. So put it on your feet and uh, off you go into walking into new opportunities, new, uh, new happiness, new joy. Uh, obstacles have been removed and you walk boldly and freely into a new and happy life. I, uh, I hope you, um, you give this a go and uh, let me know in the, in the comments down below how you went and um, you know, what little bits and pieces you put into your water to help facilitate a, uh, a happy and uh, prosperous new road to travel on. So uh, merry meet, merry part and merry meet again. Blessed be. If you like this video and want to see more, please click on the links provided. If you think this witchcraft thing may be for you, please subscribe. Blessed be.